<laughs> okay, so hi, I'm Lori from Rock On Request Magazine, and we are here with Blood on the Dance Floor. Hi, guys. Hey. Good to meet you guys. This is Jay. This is Davi. Nice to meet you guys. Nice really to nice you. to meet you. Thanks for taking the time. I know you guys are getting ready to go on. Thank soon. you for having us. For you, we have all the time in the world. Do you? Man. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. All right. Well, we're really excited to be talking to you guys. So, um, just want yeah, to ask well, you guys you. how uh, the tour is going so far. You started off in Arizona, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we. It's, it's been great. Really? How it's been? It's been packed. Um, yeah, we're killing it. This is a really good sign already. Like the past two shows into the tour. Um, it's successful. I mean, it's going really good. We're, we're grateful for everybody that has come out and support us. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we're just having a good time of our lives. How is the hometown in Arizona, the hometown fan? Amazing. Really? So amazing. Always. Yeah. Excellent. I mean, we, um, it's, you know, we, we moved there from Orlando to Arizona, but right. the reaction was great. Was it? Good. It was, yeah, we realized we had that many fans out there. It was like really cool. Well, that is awesome. So good. Was, like, Whoa, we're very appreciative of it. We value that. Good. Well, I know, th you know, through our readership that uh, the interest has definitely grown lately. So we've had a lot of, a lot of inquiries, a lot of people wanting to know if we're going to cover you guys, we can have any stories about you guys. So Fine. it's definitely peaked for sure. Um, okay. And so what about, what are your plans after the summer tour? You know, I know you guys are, have dates like through the end of May. Is that correct? Uh, or yeah. June? <laughs> we're, um, we're doing our uh, album release party. It's gonna be like a three-day show where we're playing our entire album. Awesome. Um, that that kicks off around the album release June 19th, and then we got another tour coming out this summer. Oh, you do have a summer uh, tour. Okay, good. Yeah, we we haven't announced it yet, but we are doing a summer tour. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, our, our readers were asking about that. If you guys were gonna have any uh, summer dates or May, summer May dates. May second, we announce it. You may. Okay, May second. So May All second right. is the, uh, the, the the due date uh, we announce our summer tour. And then we're going to uh, the UK in November. Are you really? And then, yeah, we're going to be doing some international stuff. So we got a pretty busy year this year. Excellent. Is that going to be the first time you've been to the UK to do? Yeah, yeah this is our first UK run. Really? So we're really excited about it. And then uh, I think we're playing uh, Australia early 2013. Oh, great. <clears throat> so we're, we're pretty busy. I mean, we're going to be touring a lot, but we're also going to be writing a lot of music. We're going to be kicking okay. up our, uh, our next album. Great. So, is already that me. Awesome. So. Very good. You okay. get through? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Oh, that's sorry. all right. That's yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, also, I wanted to ask you guys. Um, I, I read you guys' press release. You know about the incident in Ohio, and I was really. I thought your statement about it was really great. It was really moving. And so, um, any more elaboration to like our readers and your fans about the message you guys are trying to get across with your music and with, you know, with your whole Blood on the Dance Floor, um, Unite, Fight to Unite tour and how that's kind of piecing together. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's really simple. I mean, love has always been our message. Uh, you know, when we heard about the tragedy, it was like really, it really touched us. It brought back <clears throat> memories of Columbine and then right. it kind of, rem it reminded me of like when bands or like and people were blaming bands for it, and they blame Marilyn Manson and blame Lincoln Park. And exactly, all that I remember that. I, it was just crazy. I mean, like the kid, obviously. I mean, anybody could have listened to any right. kind of music. It, exactly, music's not gonna make you put a gun in your hand and, and take the I lives agree. of people and ruin and devastate and, and create a catastrophe. I agree. Uh, you know, my thing about it is like, you know, we always tweet positive messages. We're always. We do interacting with our fans and if you know you want proof look at our social networks right we're constantly always telling them you know put down the knife take back your life we're always giving them a positive message and the fight, the fight to unite tour we're actually um donating 10 percent oh are you really? every every night that we make into our own charity called love congress all foundation oh i and, didn't know uh, that that's awesome great july we're kicking it off and our, our manager's helping us set it up right now that's awesome oh, but we are great. we are planning to get more involved with charity work this year we're just trying to set up um the right way of doing it right like we want it to be really effective and we really want it to help people so yeah i mean and it's a it's a very you know it's like the common principle of the law of attraction you know you lose absolutely 10 percent back of whatever you make and uh, i agree i it's, agree it's the key to the success and that's what we're going to continue doing we're going to get back but i mean do, do you have anything about the the shooting that that really touched base with you and that you'd like to announce about i know jay's quiet yeah i'm, I'm always pretty he's quiet. contemplating <laughs> um Honestly, I don't know. It kind of like was uh, kind of a flashback for me in like middle school. Mm -hmm. But um, at the same time, like I mean, if I can like get through all of that bullshit and be where I am today, then I know that all the kids.
kids are getting picked on still. Exactly. Still, no, they're like, I mean, both parties that are like are at fault. Like, I mean, right. for every like sensor's reason, cause, consequence. And if it wasn't the first one pushing the edge, they would just snap. But they don't have to react that right. way. They can do something to positively move it instead of negatively. Exactly. So, I mean, that's great. There's not really not a whole lot that we can do to like prevent it, other than put the message out there and make it more aware and more apparent and make it a bigger priority that right. it needs to stop. I mean, that's all we can do at this point. So. Well, because and you hear all the time. That's all you hear now. It seems like you know bullying and. Um, you know, it's we, out of control. It is out of control. But we're, we're fighting back. We're, that's that's why we're doing the fight scene. Like we're <clears throat> the next music video that we're shooting is Rise and Shine. I was just gonna ask you guys about uh, the music video. You might be doing anti. That. Well, the the message is very. We're gonna touch base with like anti bullying and cyber bullying and stuff like that. So we're actually gonna make a visual of it and we're gonna put it up on YouTube. And I think a lot of people are gonna like open their eyes when they see it. And uh, it's, a, it's a message that we're telling our fans to stand up right. for what you believe in. Do not victimize yourself. Do not not just sit there and not do anything about it. Like, right. fight back. Like, do something about it. I was Good. I victimized myself, and I lived in fear. Did and you? nobody should ever live like that. No. And finally, you know, I had the balls to stand up to whatever was ailing me and suppressing yeah. me. And by me overcoming that, you know, but... You know, the thing is, like, I feel like parents and teachers can do more. Oh, uh, you're absolutely you know, right. The I biggest agree. thing that I'm hearing, especially teachers, is like, well, I tell my teachers and they do nothing. Exactly. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with these teachers? Exactly. You're right. It's like, really frustrating. Hell? Yeah, if they don't do anything. I'll tell you. If somebody says to me, I have a problem, like this person's picking on me. Why does the teacher go there and? you know, discipline the other kids right. or something like that, or take some sort of extra measure. No one's doing anything about it, and that's why the problem is growing. I mean, mm -hmm. look, you, there will always be a lack of love, right. which is what, it, what hate is, but it will continue to multiply and get worse if no one does anything about it, and that's why in our music, it's sort of like, you know, our, they're like our children, and uh -huh. we're like their dads. Exactly. Like we're giving them advice to overpower um, that feeling of fear and never have fear because fear stands for false evidence appearing real it doesn't right. exist exactly and if you want your dreams to come true you have to have courage absolutely i agree and you guys have a lot of young fans i've seen even here today seen a lot of really young fans and so getting that message out to them especially so early I feel, I feel is huge like, i feel like it's our job you know it's our, it it's, our it's our duty to get that message across whether people love us or hate us it's at the end of the day, it's up to us to create salvation. Right. It's up to us to try to save the world, and that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to be superheroes. Well, you and guys are superheroes. Use right our now. superpowers Definitely. to make a difference. That's all we're trying to do. Well, that's awesome. That's what makes us happy. That's so inspiring. That's great. Oh, mm -hmm. well, um, I wanted to ask you a couple other questions. I got so involved with that that now I'm like, oh. Um, <laughs> I was also going to say, Alexis, remind me. <laughs> I asked you about the summer dates coming up. We talked about that. Um, <clears throat> the new the, album coming out. The new album coming out, right? June 19th. Right? June 19th. It's cool. It's about the law of love, and um, it's about believing in yourself. And it's um, it was written through his perspective and my perspective. And my perspective was more of a uh, law of attraction base, and right. his was believing in yourself. And uh, it's really cool. Both like, great messages, though. I, I think mean, that's awesome. Uh, Rusty Gerard Wilmot right there. He produced the album and uh, hi Rusty. He's got to say, I mean, he, it's our best work. He's even said it. Um, if you like to just kind of touch base on it a little bit, and just tell the cool. audience. <laughs> I don't mean to put you on the spot, but like just tell them like what the recording because you're a producer, you record all our music. So. Yeah, I just think that it's literally the evolution of the band. I mean, the evolution of the band is just. Um, watching these two guys mature into their own and like truly come from like a band into like you know men that pour right. their hearts out and truly stand behind their message you know and and uh like i said earlier in the interview i'm just proud and honored to be a part of that and i feel like these guys allow me to put my message in it too which is just in unison with what they're saying yeah, and, awesome. uh, yeah, I love these guys, and you know, the whole thing is we just want to pour the love back to the world, and you know it doesn't race, religion, right. anything, all that stuff doesn't matter. Exactly. All, all it matters, and I mean, 
what these guys are saying right here is this just love and unity and respect and and if the whole world would just stand by that yeah we wouldn't have all these issues exactly you know i agree that's it's, so awesome it's about family if we just took the world world the human race and made it family mm -hmm. and put it on an album yeah. that's what you're going to see with this album awesome. it's about man's struggle to find that spot, you know, what yeah. I mean? and it's like the cool yep. thing is it has like it comes from a dark place and it comes from a light place, right? And we have all been there, exactly. You know? And I love it. I just it's, good. it's got, like awesome. dual perspectives, and I think that's really keen. But I mean, I mean, we really appreciate Rusty for putting his heart and soul into it, and, and we value his friendship so much. Yeah, you guys. He's, like, he's like my brother. You guys have definitely come a long way. I mean, I think that you've def I've definitely seen a change in the messages in your music and just in the your fan base. And I think that you guys have definitely yeah, you made know, a difference. It, it just it hit us. We're because we we're very interactive with our fans, and we realized there were so many problems in the world, and oh. we had to address it right. properly. And you know, like of course we were gonna like. I think that's a cool thing about. You know, we brought some of the older songs back too. He's like, you know, right. kids love that. Oh yeah, they do. Kids just don't, <laughs> kids don't give a fuck. They yeah, they like the music. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, these are the best days of your life, and, and live it up. But we we also want to remind them that you're very important and that you belong, and that there's a reason why you're here. Exactly. You know? We don't know the answers right off the top of our heads. Yeah. But there is a reason. You know, love is wave energy and frequencies and things that no other tool can ever measure. In the world. Exactly. And, I uh, agree. Everything happens for a reason, you know. Awesome. So I, I'm so I'm, I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> I really am. Yeah, very, very proud of you Thank guys. You. you guys have such a great message out there, and I think that that's what we need. Um, so that's why we're really excited to, yeah, to we're interview just, we're you guys. We're gonna keep being us, and uh, we want you to be you. Like, continue being divine, and awesome. I'm so proud of him. He's 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 come a long way, and you know, like from. I call him Javon Phenomenon. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just the man. All right, good deal. Uh, you're the man. Aww, so you're sweet. Can I say one more thing? Pardon me? Can I say one yeah. more thing? Yes, yes. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt this message. You're not. I have to say <laughs> one other thing that. about the new album, and I'm not trying to make a shameless plug here, but. But please do. Okay, not <laughs> even the message. Take the message out of it. Musically and vocally, these guys have, like, completely come into their own. Just wait until you hear it. No attitude. Right. We recorded the whole album with no attitude. Really? Awesome. No, uh, it's all from the heart. Really? So, yeah, really I can hardly wait. It's electric yeah. soul. Yeah. Electric soul. That's the best way to describe it. Alright. Well, do you guys have, um, I always let anybody I interview ask me a question. So, anything you guys want. If you have anything. Um, Does anyone ever turn the tables on you guys and ask you that? What's your favorite sexual position? <laughs> I knew that was mm -hmm. going to be it. Um, oh my god. You open yourself up for it. Doggy style. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. We got a winner. We have got a winner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you want to ask us this, any questions? Like, we get one shot. All right, all right. Um, where is the strangest place you've ever had sex? And was it public? That's two questions I know. Right. I'm sorry. It was after work at a salon in the mall. In the mall? And I did it, like, <laughs> right on the chair. Right on the chair, in the salon chair. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, All right. Chair. All right. Jake? Ice cream truck. Ice cream truck. <laughs> Excellent. Very really good. <laughs> we heat. still fogged it out. <laughs> the heat melted. Ice cream's the frosted. <laughs> <laughs> Every little kid in the room was so sad. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. We can hardly wait for the show. I know you guys are getting you. ready to go on soon, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. We don't too much it. more of your time. I guess we're going to talk to you guys all night. I know. Like a little monkey. All right. So, um, Lori from Rock on Request Magazine. And thank you guys so much. Blood on the Dance for Watch our website for your guys' interview. Rock, Rock on Request Magazine. And you can cut it, Alexis. Okay.